It was a hot summer day. There was excitement in the forest. Leaves, rough, rustled, and fish burned. Was creeped and bent to hear what was being said. Twigs snapped in impatience. What was happening? This was one of the biggest forests in India. When all the trees waved and the leaves rustled, it sounded as if a storm was brewing. What was the excitement about? Right, there was going to be a competition. It was going to be called the Summer Tree Contest. The tree that proved that it loved the sun most would get a pass. Every plant and every tree adored the sun. But how were they going to prove it? The morning glory blew its purple trumpet and announced, Come on, come all, join the summer tree contest. Show how much you love the sun. When it dies, when a lovely time, the competition began. The sun was seated on a throne. All the forest folk climbed the path. What a whispering and chattering they were. First came Ruptura, the scarlet fountain tree. He walked in crimson splendor. O oh sun, I love you most, they did. Going low, I am the first to blow some after your winter retreat. My trumpet shaped flowers welcome you back. My name is Ruptura. But people often call me the Cal. Often. 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 Often call me the Scarlet Fountain Free. Because hundreds of crimson and orange flowers fill my branches and I look like a scarlet fountain. There was a clapping and cheering as Ruptura walked it down. Now came Kalas, the flame of the forest. He walked the right up and blow. I love thee most, O oh son, my lord, he said. My flowers are a flame with love for you. I have come to crown you with them. So, saying that Kalas tree held up his branches of orange and red flowers. The other trees and flowers tree were indeed. The tree was made of leaves and only a blaze of flaming flower. Flaming. Flaming flower. Coronets shone and glittered in the sun. Then came the samaras. samaras. The silk cotton twins. One was dressed in yellow and one in red. They bowed and said, O oh sun, our flowers shine forth in your favorite colors. We look golden and red in February and March. So sweet in our nectar. Birds jostle and fight for every sip. Our soft, silky cotton fills pillows in every corner of the land. How the forest folk clapped and shaked. Now came Neeli Gurmohur, the Jacaranda. Graceful and tall, at every step his flock of blossoms shimmered blue and mauve and cool. I came to stand behind you, O oh sun, he said. I am blue as the sky, you sail through all day. He took his place amid sighs, six of admiration. Then it was the turn of Champa, the temple tree. The whole path smelt lovely with her scent. O oh son, my lord, he said, he said, I bedeck myself for you each day. At dawn, I welcome you with a pink and white carpet of my blossoms. Every nodded. In the morning, the ground near the Champa tree was carpeted with flowers. That was a nice way to say I love you to the sun. Who was next? The competition was becoming more exciting every minute. Mandara, the coral tree, stepped daintily forward. How handsome he looked 
His bright coral colored towers looked like birds on the wing. He did not say anything but looked adoringly, adoringly at the sun. Then he bowed and retreated. Make way. Here comes Amaltas the Laburnum. 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 Let's see what he has to say. Amaltas went up and bowed low. People call me golden shower. Oh, sir. I looked deep into your heart and saw your heart of gold. So I become a shower of golden petals. Every clap is loudly and long. Was not Amaltas, the loveliest of them all. Not a leaf could be seen, only a mass of golden yellow flowers. Now came me, the Margosa. Everyone looked surprised. Have you seen the name flowers? They are skinny and white, hidden among the leaves. You can hardly see them. What would the name be most of? They wondered as he bowed low to the sun. O oh, sun, say he, my flowers are as cool white as your heart is white hot. My leaves and fruit heal just as your light is healthy. I adore you. O oh, sun, I try to help you in your work. He bowed low, thus rustling leaves his leaves. The people clapped at this unusual way of showing love. Did you know that the name trees, leaves, fruit, and even bark are usually in medicine? The copper pod came next. He, his grandfather, grandfather came to India from South America. I'm golden too, said the copper pod. Bowing to the sun, golden like you. My flowers shine when you are tall. The people went really. The copper pot's golden flower glowed against its dark green roof. In between hung the copper, copper, the copper colored pots that gave him his name. What a lovely picture he made! It was going to be difficult to decide who was next. They gathered when they saw the castle. How beautiful she looked! I love you most, O son. She said, I put on all my bridal finery for you. The people whispered to one another. They admired her pink and white finery. Loud cheers broke out as the Cassia walked away gracefully. And suddenly there was silence. For who was here? Garmahur, the flamboyant. Of all the things he looked at the grandest. He did not say anything. He just walked up to the sun and bowed. He showed his love for the sun with a cascade of orange and red flowers. Each flower had red and orange petals with one yellow or white petal. Even the ground below him reflected the sun's colors. The people broke into cheers. Surely Gulmohar would win. Speech, speech, they cried. Then Gulmohar spoke. Oh son, I feel sad when you depart for your winter home. All my leaves fall, where I am lonesome. I wait for your return, and then what joy. The hotter you get, the more fairy are my flowers. Red, orange, sindhu color. All summer I love you and I am happy. Then when the monsoon clouds hide your face, I shed my finery. I am a flower. I feel as if I am alive only in summer. How the people cheat. They clap again and again. Hooray! They cry. Hooray! Then the sun smiled at each of the three who had competed. Com competed. Competed. How happy they were. Each tree felt the sun love it most. But the forest folk voted for Gulmahal. I gave him the facts.